John Moran has told us plenty of times, I want to be the best. Matter of fact, he references himself as him. Field by Moran. Here comes Shooter. Rob Moran. Ja, for the first time in franchise history, the Memphis Grizzlies are playing on Christmas Day. And I have to believe that it's partly you and partly your stardom that has catapulted you all to that spot. What does that mean to you? It means a lot, you know. Obviously, you know, being a kid, big basketball fan, you know, you grew up watching those Christmas Day games. And, you know, now I actually have, you know, a chance to play in it. and. Also, um, you know, me and my teammates, you know, making it the first time, you know, in franchise history to play on that day is even more special. You're facing Golden State, which is the team that eliminated you in the playoffs last year. What do you think about when you think about this game? Is it circled extra because of that? You know, definitely it's, it's circled. You know, obviously it's the team that kick us out of the playoffs. So, you know, we always want to, you know, get our leg back. Everybody knows, you know, what Golden State means to the game of basketball, you know, this last couple years and, you know, they're defending champs. So regardless of, you know, uh, their record, you know, they're still one of the top teams in this league and, you know, can get going, you know, pretty fast. So we're wishing everybody to, you know, a, a speedy recovery and, you know, after that, a healthy season, so. Strength in numbers? Yeah, <laughs> strength in numbers, I guess. And uh, I, I ain't with the strength in numbers. I'm Grizz next gen. <laughs> Levitation Deluxe. He is worth every penny. The young fella is having fun. Who do you look at around the league as you're studying and say, we're going to have to run through them? Celtics. No one in the West. Nah, I'm fine in the West. This was wild to me. Your big three, Desmond Bain, Jaron Jackson Jr., yourself. You've played exactly zero minutes together this season. What does that say about this group? Just, you know, how deep of a team we are. Everybody pretty much, you know, just buying into the culture. And we just got great, you know, good care to guys, you know, guys who are very unselfish and, you know, um, appreciate and, you know, love being around each other. And the interviews, I feel like it, it made us, you know, come even closer, you know. It's now got to the point where it's weird if you have an interview and nobody come in. And I just recently had one and Tyus came and nobody else was there. Me and Tyus went in the locker room and Tyus was like, hey, where y'all was? And they were like, man, we was looking for you. And he like, well, I was in 12 interviews, nobody was with me. So now it's, you know, a thing for us and, you know, we just keep it going. Morant in transition. Oh, John Morant! Is there someone left that you think, oh yeah, I want to dunk on that person? Everybody. Everybody who's on the list in front of me and, you know, best players in the league. Ja, when you are looking to balance both being a dad to Kari, who comes to your games, but also saying, can you come to my recitals? What is that like for you? Um, I feel like that's more important to me than, you know, being out there on the floor, um, you know, being a father first. Um, Kari is the reason, you know, I wake up and, you know, go and do what I do. And, you know, being a dad, I feel like it's, you know, the greatest thing in the world. You know, I absolutely love her and, you know, I do whatever, you know, I can to, you know, keep a smile on her face, you know, regardless. And, you know, going to her first recital, you probably would have thought, like, I was in the recital, you know, I was just nervous. You know, I finally walked in and just was smiling. And when I seen her, you know, get on the stage, it was even better. Like, I, I didn't know how to react. I couldn't pull out my phone. I was just watching. Like, I just was too too much in the moment. Um, but, you know, afterwards getting to see her, she ran up, gave me a hug. Um, you know, I knew she was excited. You know, I was able to be there. And I know she understands, you know, that I play basketball and I travel, I be on the road. But I know, you know, her seeing me there, you know, meant a lot to her. And it definitely did for me, too.